Thank you. I'd like to thank everyone again for coming out here tonight. Thank you for having me. I'd like to also say a big thank you to Marlene sitting up front. She's been a dear friend and dear supporter of mine for a long time now. And uh, really is the reason I'm here tonight. I'd like to share with you now a song off of my CD, which I do have CDs available as well as t-shirts and even some flutes. If you're interested, just right out back and to the left, you'll see with a table where I'm set up. So please feel free to stop by afterwards. I'd love to get a chance to talk with you. This song is a personal favorite of mine to play live. It says that sometimes you can't place limits on yourself and there's no limits on dreams. This song is called Under a Big Sky. Feel like these four walls keep closing in to lock me in and keep love out. They say that we're too young to understand. Oh, we've got a plan, baby. There's no doubt. Under a big sky The whole world lies before us In the verse and you're the chorus Baby, you and I Lift each other as we fly We can see forever rising Under a big sky No matter what our hearts may run into Stars all say we'll be alright I close my eyes so I can keep the view Oh, I'm lost in you Baby, it's our time Under a big sky the whole world lies before us I'm the verse and you're the chorus Baby, you and I Lift each other as we fly We can see forever rising Under a big sky In our innocence and glory We can write our own love story Under a big sky The whole world lies before us In the verse and you're the chorus Baby, you and I Lift each other as we fly We can see forever rising Under a big sky the whole world lies before us In the verse and you're the chorus Baby, you and I Lift each other as we fly We can see forever rising Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yes, all the songs uh, that I'll be playing for you today and that I uh, have been playing um, are all written by me. Uh, I write almost all of my material. Uh, the only exception is Amazing Grace. 
I can't quite take credit for writing that. When I was recording my CD, I contacted a man in Georgia named Dana Ross. For those of you that don't know Dana, he's an incredible flute maker and an even more incredible person. I said to him, how much would you charge to make a flute for me in a certain key? And he replied that he would be happy to just gift me a flute, this flute, to help me out on my musical journey. Recently, Dana's mother passed away. And when he lost her, he lost a part of himself. Now, I believe that these flutes have real healing power to them. And I've, uh, these flutes have taken me to many places and I've seen many things because of these flutes. So I decided to repay his gift of kindness by writing this song and dedicating it to his mother's memory on the flute that he made for me. This song is called Steal the Moon. Thank you. Thank you. This next flute that I'll be using is a flute that's very special to me. This is a flute that I designed and had my dear friend Dana make for me. A couple years ago, I was in a situation where I was um, hanging out with a friend of mine, and uh, they just started to kind of tease me a little bit. And then as the days went on, they just, uh, their teasing turned into more of bullying. And uh, I just dealt with it because I thought I had to. And I was being abused by this person that uh, I thought was my friend. And then one day it dawned on me, I don't have to take this. This song says that no matter what you're facing, whether it's an addiction, a bad relationship, or even just an unhealthy friendship, this song says that you always have the power to choose to rise above. This song is called This Time.
we were Young and wild and proud Ever since I let you in my mind You've pulled me down You tried to change me Control my everything Tried to rule my dreams Your words are poison Sent to destroy me But I will break free This time I'm not gonna believe you This time Won't let you in You'll never win This time I'll stand tall and rise above Rise above You tried to lure me With your illusions That's your best disguise Truth is stronger Fear no longer Covers up my eyes Oh, but this time I'm not gonna believe you This time Won't let you in You'll never win This time I'll stand tall and rise above This time I'll stand tall and rise above This time I'm not gonna believe you This time Won't let you in, you'll never win This time I'll stand tall and rise above Thank you. I was born and raised raised just north of Nashville, Nashville, Tennessee, Tennessee. but all my family's from up north in Maine. Every summer I go up there to a place called Coldstream Pond to spend time with them. Up there you can hear the loons, the Maine birds calling to each other across the lake at night. And then somewhere, somewhere, way across the lake, you hear an answer in the distance.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to share with you all a very special little flute of mine. It really is hard when I'm playing in a cafe to try and get this thing out. First try, I like it. This is a very special flute that was made by my friend Brad Young. This is a bass flute, the Native American bass flute. But this is uh, no ordinary bass flute. This is actually a bass flute drone. You know, the drone flutes were designed after the Scottish bagpipes when the Scottish people came over to North America. So first I'll play you just the melody side of this flute and then I'll add in the drone. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm all self-taught on the Native American flute. I've been playing for about three and a half years. Um, what I love about uh, being self-taught on an instrument is there's no one telling you, you can't try this, you can't do that. So it's, uh, you're able to truly express yourself. So in honor of the way that I learned, I'd like to share with you a little bit of traditional Native American flute mixed with something a little less traditional. Thank you. Thank you. Now it's time to break out this bad boy. <laughs> I actually um, was first introduced to music when I was three years old. I started out as a rock drummer, and I was really excited about the rock drums. So I went from that loud rock and roll instrument to classical piano. And from classical piano, I went on to learn violin and a variety of other things. And it was uh, on a family trip to New Mexico when the flute first found me. So I'd like to share with you now a little bit of, uh, again, less traditional drumming.
think I need to sit down. I'd like to share with you now a song that's very special to me. <laughs> I said that uh, the first, my flute first found me um, on a family trip to New Mexico. I started out as a singer-songwriter when I was about 12 years old. And I had a very dear friend of mine pass away from cancer. She was misdiagnosed with stage one when it was already stage four and just had weeks to live. So I wrote a song from her husband's perspective to let her know that it was okay to let go and to move on. That song was made into a music video, and uh, the man that filmed that music video also filmed Valley of Dreams with John Tesh and Robert Mirabal. So when I first saw Robert playing the flute, I um, instantly just felt that connection with it. And I um, picked up a five-hole Odell Board pocket flute and played that for about a year, and then had the great honor of going out to the Taos Pueblos in New Mexico to meet with Robert. And I played flute with him, and I talked with him and shared a morning with him. And I also got this flute uh, from him that he made. In honor of my time there, I wrote a song about the old Native American legend of the Thunderbird. They say that when this bird came, its body was the, with the clouds. Every beat of its wings brought the clap of thunder, and lightning would flash from its eyes. This is Flight of the Thunderbird.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to share just two more songs with you, and then we'll go ahead and get everybody up for the jam. I'd like to say also, uh, let's give another round of applause for all the wonderful musicians we've had up here tonight. It's been wonderful. I had the great honor about, uh, I believe it was two, three months ago now, when uh, something for the first time ever happened in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. At the state capitol, the Tennessee House of Representatives got together a proclamation of regret to all Native Americans for the Trail of Tears. This is something that has never happened before, and we're hoping that it's the start of a chain reaction that will sweep across the nation. I was very honored to play Amazing Grace during the ceremony for that uh, very historic day. I'd like to share for you now a song that I wrote to honor the Trail of Tears, which is also the title track to my album. The song is called The Journey. In the year 1830, under the jurisdiction of President Andrew Jackson, the Indian Removal Act was issued. Thousands of Native Americans were forced out of their homes, forced to march to a land far unknown. Many of them suffered and died along the way. I wrote this song to honor their spirits. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Got one last song to do for you all, and then we're going to go ahead and start the jam. Uh, again, I am just so honored to be here. Thank you all for coming out, and thank you for supporting me tonight. I do have, um, thank you. I do have uh, some CDs available at the table just out these doors and to the left. Uh, the CDs are 15. I also have some T-shirts and posters. Uh, also sign up for my email list. Um, to find out when I'm going to be playing. I have a big show coming up on October 8th in uh, Franklin, Tennessee, which is going to be uh, broadcast live over the internet. So be sure to see that. It's uh, Music City Roots. Going to be some uh, great musicians on stage with me that night. Also, before I do this last song, I'd like to apologize to everyone sitting in the front row because uh, you are in the splash zone. You think I'm kidding. This song is called The Chase. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Many blessings. Thank you.